Hello and welcome to chapter 45 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Weaver and PHP. We will devote this chapter to upload our web to a real server, to a real internet site, so that the rest of people can watch it, okay? So that they can buy from us and so on. Alright, uh, before we start working, let's make a small review to our to do list. We will take what we already done, okay? I think it's interesting knowing what we have done. So, uh, reviewing the things you requested from me or the things to do, for example, uh, the topic of items with attributes has already been done. Uh, the topic of uploading to our free hosting services, what we will do now. The subcategories are already done too. Adding products, even more than one of the ones, is also done. Protecting directories is something we will do also now. Adding one product and checking that if it exists, it adds unit also done. Product browser will be seen now. Checking sales, stock control with sale protection. Fine. And um, let's see if there is something else we have already done. How to add more than one product? Well, that's part of adding products. So if you don't mind, we will delete this. And uh, uh, let's see if there is any other around that we can use. Well, I think this will do more or less. I will save the document to have it available later. Something else. Let's see. Um, the thing of uploading the, the whole web to a remote server, to internet, so that our potential customers can watch it. Okay, my advice is always buying or hiring a private hosting because it's not especially, especially expensive. We can see that you can get it on average to good hosting for about 40, 50 euros a year. Anyway, there is a web called 000 Web Host that offers you free web hosting. Um, if you buy a domain, it registers it for you, and if not, it provides you the hosting service for free. As you can see, the price is zero, gives you plenty of disk space, a good rate of data transfer, and so on. Obviously, there are many extras it doesn't have, but the interesting thing is that it's got an FTP account so that we can link it into, uh, to Dreamweaver and upload the files straight forward. And it also has a control panel, quite limited in my opinion, but anyway very similar to any other control panel. It's very hard to explain this in all the possible hostings available because some of them use C panel, others use parallels, but more or less all the panels contain and display the same information.